Smoke and explosions on the horizon in North Gaza after Israel bombarded the area. It's still unclear if there are any casualties. The attack follows a night of relentless bombardment on residential areas in Jabalia and Beit Lahia. Several Palestinians were killed in the offensive. A search operation is underway for survivors. In Gaza City, people were seen queuing at the Kuwait roundabout, seeking humanitarian aid, only to be met with gunfire. Witnesses say Israeli vehicles nearby opened fire on three trucks carrying flour, water and other supplies. They speak about the aid every day. They're deceiving us. Three or four trucks of aid for thousands of people. My son told me that he's hungry and he couldn't wait anymore. My children get up hungry every morning and I've nothing to offer them. This isn't life. The humanitarian crisis in Gaza is worsening as malnourished people, including children, are struggling to survive. Doctors say these children are dying from a variety of diseases because of the food shortage. The trickle of humanitarian aid being dropped by various air forces is not enough to feed almost two and a half million people. Human rights advocates say Israel's forced starvation of Palestinians is a war crime. People are in Gaza facing incessant bombardment. They're being starved. They lack access to basic resources. They have been displaced multiple times over. Most of their, most, for most of them, their homes, um, their hospitals, their community institutions, their schools have been damaged or destroyed. And they're left every day just trying to survive. And the idea that people are being killed as they scavenge for meager rations of food is just appalling. There are one million cases of infectious diseases reported by the Gaza Health Ministry, with few facilities left to treat the sick. The systematic shelling of Gaza's hospitals by Israel has crippled the health system. The UN is renewing calls for a ceasefire to save the many in constant danger. Axel Zaimovich, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.